How will the new IFRS standards disrupt my business? So I think this big new suite of IFRS standards really disrupt a business kind of from the ground up. Uh, they change everything from uh, how an entity actually tracks things and their most uh, intricate from the ground up type of IT systems from POS all the way up to ERP and consolidation software. Uh, in terms of the way also they affect uh, the KPIs of a business. Uh, for example, uh, EBITDA is changing pretty massively because of IFRS 16. So really every aspect of how an entity actually does business is being affected by these new standards. These aren't uh, modifications or, or tweaks like what may be the case in certain other standards. Uh, these are really uh, kind of wholesale change in every way that an entity does business. The new standards have got the potential to be disruptive to your business if you don't project manage it properly, but we prefer to look at it like an opportunity. So if you um, treat it like an accounting exercise, what you'll end up with is just another accounting spreadsheet that's not useful for driving better business decisions. We think it's a, a great opportunity to take a look at the way you track the data in your business, the way you organize it, and help you make better business decisions based on that data. I think the way that investors are going to be impacted is that really it changes uh, across the board all the, the key metrics and drivers that they use in evaluating a business. These new standards are going to have a very significant impact on uh, those top lines like revenue. Uh, certain other standards are going to drive other performance measures like EBITDA, uh, debt ratios, service coverage ratios, and debt covenants. So it, it's pretty hard to imagine that any entity is going to be unaffected by these new changes in IFRS over the next couple of years.